What's up, party people? I am Moser RS, and if you didn't know, Trans 3 has been added to Decron. So today I have a quick guide for you on how to obtain that Trans 3. So in order to start, the first thing you have to do is you have to uh, talk to NPC Deddy to receive the first quest. And uh, another thing to note here is you need to be level 195 to get your Trans 3. I should have mentioned that first, but now you know. And the first quest is going to involve killing a bunch of different monsters located in the southwest of the Matera map. And, uh... This quest can be kind of annoying because of all the battle support that is going on. Uh, but, you know, take your time, kill all the monsters. They're all located in different areas in that southwest corner. And uh, after you complete them, you are going to head back to that same NPC, Deddy, and uh, turn that quest in. So uh, after turning this quest in, you're going to see there is not another quest for you at uh, NPC Deddy. Um, you're actually going to have to head somewhere else. So after that, you're going to be heading to the... Uh, clerk's uh, body which is located kind of in the center of the map and then you will obtain your next uh, quest so this quest is going to re uh, require you to do Karen's fire pot if you need a guide for that that is on my channel um, it's not too hard but it uh, it can be hard if you're not geared well enough but I assume if you're level 195 you should at least have some gear and be able to complete this I recommend doing the easy mode just because it makes the dungeon a lot easier so go ahead, head to Karen's fire pot, and uh, uh, kill Dr. Labo. And uh, after, com uh, or after killing him, uh, you will complete the next stage of the quest. So after that, uh, we are going to be heading to a different NPC, actually. We are going to be heading to the, uh, I think of the name here, the Infected Villager which is located in a different section of the map. The Infected Villager is actually located um, kind of at the south center portion of the map. Uh, so you can go ahead and you can head on over there. Uh, keep in mind too, in Materia, you can use those teleports to get around, or if you have Holy Water, it'll make this a lot easier. Anyway, after completing that, you're gonna go, like I said, to the Infected Villager, you're gonna turn in that quest, and then you are going to uh, be talking to a new NPC. Uh, you will be finding NPC uh, Move On, Move On, I believe it's pronounced, which is located in the northeast portion of the map. So you can go, you can head over there, and you can grab the next portion of the quest. Now, this next portion of the quest is probably the hardest part of the quest, um, not because it's difficult, but because if you don't have someone to do it with, it's going to take you a very long time to complete. Uh, basically, you're going to have to head over to Shangri-La, and you're going to have to kill 100, or I'm sorry, 1,000 contaminated priests. Which, uh, if you've killed them before, you know they have pretty high HP and resistances, and you also know that people farm that area very heavily for adamantium and heavenly energy. Um, I was fortunate enough to get a party because there were a bunch of people doing it. So definitely, uh, I would recommend if you can try to get a party together to do this because it'll make it that much faster otherwise just find a corner somewhere maybe set up your battle support and you know you'll get through it eventually uh but yes yeah, so you're gonna head over there you're gonna kill all of these guys uh keep in mind these guys hit pretty hard so you know make sure your monster damage tolerance is up and you shouldn't have too much trouble so after completing the 1000 contaminated priest kills we are going to head to npc ellen uh, who is located uh, back over by uh, Move On again. And this is actually the last stage of the Trans 3 quest, which is very exciting. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to run up to her and you're going to turn in this quest. So uh, upon turning in this quest, you are actually going to receive an item that uh, you can use, kind of similar to like if you've done your, uh, you know, your Trans 1, there's like an item you have to consume. Like it's going to be very similar to that. Uh, it's like a little blue item. I can't remember what it's called. Let's see what it is when I hover over it. So it's called your Siege Blessing. Now, this is really important here. After you have your Siege Blessing, it only lasts for 30 minutes. And if it times out and you don't turn in the next stage of the quest, I have no idea what happens. Like, maybe you can't complete the quest. Maybe you have to go kill the priests again. Honestly, I have no idea. So just use it. And then immediately after using it, talk to NPC uh, Olin again. And that's it. You've completed your Trans 3. Um, this whole thing probably took me about an hour, so it's not too bad. Once again, the, the longest part's the contaminated priest thing, so if you don't have someone to do that with, uh, that will definitely take the majority of your time. Uh, but yeah, so you need to, like I said, before you 
turn or before you take that last quest to turn in that last quest make sure you use that item uh, i'm really not sure what happens if you do it a different way anyway so you'll need some extra skill points if you don't have them uh, but you'll need to level up your trans to level six and then level seven directly after that and as you can see here this process will use up three skill points and then obviously if you want to be leveling up your new trans three skill it's going to be even more skill points but i think it's like level 199 and then i don't know what the next one is after that maybe like 203 or something um, to start leveling up those skills. Uh, but yeah, the new, uh, the new trans looks pretty cool. I really like it. Uh, some classes look better than others. I don't know why the Alokan now looks like a male. That's kind of weird. Uh, but yeah, the, uh, the skills actually hit pretty hard too from what I've seen. I mean, I've only tested the Black Wizard one, but, uh, the Black Wizard one hits at level one. It hits about the same as my step one. Um, obviously, it doesn't do quite as many hits, but uh, the damage is still very impressive. Anyway, guys, if you have any questions about how to obtain your Trans 3, you know, make sure to leave those in the comments. I hope you find this guide helpful. Um, as always, uh, if you do have any questions or suggestions, you can leave them in the comments. And until next time, guys, take care.